All right, Tacoma Prepper here, AKA Eric Rosenblatt. And today I'd like to talk about kind of a unusual topic when it comes to prepping, but I think it's something that really isn't discussed that much in prepping circles and survival uh, discussions and things like that. And that is computers. And I'd like to show you today what I believe to be the best survival computer on the market, all right? <laughs> Let's get into it, shall we? So naturally, the first thing you're gonna want is a trusty old AK. All right, so this is the Clockwork Pi U console or micro console, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so this has an add-on board that is the uh, Hacker Gadgets all-in-one radio add-on um, <laughs> that allows you to stick a bunch of antennas on here. Um, so this thing runs Linux um, and is extremely hackable and moddable. Um, it, it is designed to be extremely modular um, and I freaking love it. it it's very, very cool. Um, now, why do I think it's good as a survival computer? And why do I think a survival computer should even exist to begin with? Well, there's a lot of reasons why you might want a computer in a survival situation. Uh, communications, of course, being the biggest one. And this, with all the add-ons, um, we have... Um, so I'm running an SDR, this SDR++ running here. Uh, so you have this antenna, I've kind of 3D printed a little holder for that. It obviously extends like that kind of antenna does. Um, you can pretty much see everything <laughs> within a particular, particularly large swath of uh, frequencies and zero in on it. There's a, there's a ton of stuff this can do. Um, but also you have uh, Wi-Fi, so there's a Wi-Fi antenna, of course, which is pretty typical. Um, this comes stock with a built-in Wi-Fi antenna that's actually crap, um, so having that is nice. There's a GPS antenna, and then there's the LoRa slash mesh tastic uh, system that's incorporated into this. There's a lot of other things you could do with this, um, but Communications is definitely one of the most critical things in uh, like a grid down scenario or whatever. And what's nice about this, um, it runs off a 18650 batteries. So, you know, you just unscrew the back and I, I've 3D printed a little holder here to um, hold the Allen wrench that takes the back off so you can swap batteries. Uh, there's obviously USB-C for charging. Um, you have HDMI for video, there's audio, there's a USB here. And with the add-on board, you get an additional USB port and another USB-C port on this side. So that's kind of nice. You have this little fold-down kind of handle thing. Um, I'm not confident in this when it comes to being outdoors, but being as moddable as it is, you could easily make this thing fairly ruggedized um, and plus you have the ability to do a bunch of other stuff too uh, internet um, you could edit documents um, you can have documents already stored here that you can read uh, that's kind of handy also games um, seem stupid but games are kind of important in situations like that, just, just keeping your mind active and off of the goings on, um, I think that's kind of important. Uh, the, it, it's a pretty neat device, I will say. Um, it, well, let me see, I, hold on, I'm gonna cut to something. All right, well, never mind. I didn't feel like waiting, um, but yeah, you could do quite a bit with this. Um, and Obviously, being Linux, it's generally open source and fairly portable. I wouldn't say this is pocket-sized, but it's compact at the very least. And it does everything that a desktop computer could do. 
Plus, with this add-on board, of course, you have all kinds of comms options. Um, it, the, the LoRa system in particular is the big one because that's sort of a uh, mesh networking communication system. Um, very, very critical in an emergency situation. There's probably a lot more you could do, of course, uh, but again, this is extensible. It, 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 like, the sky's the limit with the things you want to add to this. Um, I, I think you're, you're in it uh, probably about $300 maybe ish, maybe 400 for something like this. And I'll tell you, this is pretty damn awesome. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot more I could say about it, but I think, uh, I can't say anything that other people haven't already said. Um, definitely look into it. I highly recommend it. Everybody should have one of these. Um, oh, and of course these are the, um, SMA connectors. So, you know, for compactness, you can just unscrew antennas off of it um, and reconfigure things as to your liking. Um, so these ant antennas can go anywhere, wherever you want them. I just figured this is like kind of the most uh, I, the thing that made the most sense to me. Um, <laughs> but anybody who's used one of these, um, I'd like to hear your experiences and some of the things, I mean, I'm just beginning to explore the, the possibilities with this add-on board. Uh, so I, I've had this machine for quite a while, but I just recently acquired the uh, radio stuff and have been playing around with it. It's pretty sweet. There's like an aircraft tracking system. Obviously you have the Mesh-tastic system, which is pretty sweet. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of people around here that are talking um through that but there there are nodes in the area it's just i don't know uh, yeah. <laughs> there just aren't that many users currently but i'm sure there would be if shit went down um so anyway um man, i guess i'll wrap it up then how about that okay well i mean that's that's that i guess um i know some people think it's kind of stupid to have a computer for survival stuff, but this being the way it is, the, the design being so hackable and moddable, um, it's kind of the ideal survival computer if you wanted a computer in a survival situation. Um, especially with this radio board. That, that's a friggin' game changer, I will say that. Um, it's pretty damn cool and very useful. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts, what you think. Um, should this be something people put into their kits? Uh, I think so. Uh, especially when you need to communicate. The, like, the LoRa system is so good. Uh, Mesh-tastic. Very useful when uh, the infrastructure fails and you need to communicate with other people. Um, and sharing information. Uh, it... Yeah, it, it, it's a pretty cool thing, so I don't know, share your thoughts down there in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And I know this is kind of a silly episode, but um, hopefully you liked it, and uh, see you next time.